one of the keys or the magic of teaching is figure, figuring out how to get a group of learners, whether they're college students or, or any age, uh, to connect with, to identify with, to get excited about the material that you want to teach. Does Twain think slavery is evil? Does he think it's okay? Is he somewhere in the middle? I hated high school. Uh, I really, I didn't, I didn't have a great time at high school at all. I went to college at the University of Idaho uh, because a friend at church, Jerry, said the college was fun. He says, oh, it's really fun, you should go. And when I graduated, I didn't really have anything else to do. I wasn't a particularly bad or good student. Uh, but then I went to college. And I loved it. I could not believe how much I loved it. I wanted to major in everything. When I was in college, I decided I wanted to go on and do a graduate degree. And while a graduate student studying American literature, uh, we got an opportunity to teach. When I first started doing it, I fell in love with it. Carnegie Foundation case, they give a series of awards each year to outstanding professors across the country. I found out that I was uh, nominated. I got a call from the provost's office that, that said that they wanted to put me up for this award. I was, I was a little bit surprised and honored. I feel relieved and really happy that I represented the university well. And uh, we do have lots of great teaching on campus, and I'm glad I could be associated with that. Love Jim. Hey, Jim. Indifferent. It's <laughs> like, like skipping to. I love Jim. <laughs> Anna, why do you love Jim? If you can somehow get them intrinsically interested in the material, so they think, oh, this matters to me, I care about this, they'll do a lot of the learning on their own. They'll, they'll work harder, they'll be more engaged, they'll be more excited about the learning. It's such a joy to see people learn. It's such a joy to share what you love with other people and get, have them get excited about it.